Hi, you're watching Marshall Reader. In the previous chapter, Wasi noticed that the mission is getting harder since the system requires them to defeat 10 monsters. After defeating four slimes, a possessed stump appeared and attacks them. But Wasi was smart to use his spore to weaken it, so they defeat it easily. But before they find another target, he told Piggy to wait and sit on the stump to absorb it. Now on to the next part. After a while, Wazi finally finished absorbing the stump with his cheeks. To his surprise, he obtained more experience from using Decompose than when he killed the monster. But unfortunately, his ability cooldown is a little too long. Then he noticed he also gained some single cast ability. So he asks the system for information, which it answers that. These are abilities he obtained from monster he decomposed. At most, he can receive two of a monster's abilities, and this are consumable and will disappear after single use, while abilities that has duration will last 10 minutes instead. This made him excited as he believes. Usually when a hero is asked to kill a boss monster, they're given cheat skill, and the ability decompose is his cheat. And now with this he felt even more confident in defeating the demon god. In a later time, they rest in a mushroom-made cave. As Piggy was resting, Wazi is thinking hard, although he is progressing steadily right now. Trying to stop Gollum's followers from reviving him at his current level is like a mantis trying to stop a chariot. So he asks the system if he continues to level up at his current rate. How long will it take before he can change his class? Which the system answers that monsters cannot undergo class change. Instead, they get stronger through evolution and monsters has its own unique evolution pathways, but it can also have special mutations depending on their environment and other hidden conditions. This intrigued him so he asks when he can evolve. It tells him that he will receive his evolution mission once he reached 20, and he will receive another evolution mission at level 40. He asks what is the strongest evolutionary pathway is for a mushroom, and he doesn't want to evolve into the dumb-looking boulder mushroom that he saw before, so the system will happily provide him an evolution pathway but it requires him to offer 200 gold coins for each pathway. Now Wazi grasped the system's intention, and is now showing its true colors, but the system was a professional scammer before, so the system tries to convince him that it is actually generous. Therefore, it gives him one pathway for free, which it showed him the pathway of the boulder mushroom, as it made him think, who would have thought the dumb-looking rock could evolve into something like this? So after that the system sales talk him into offering 200 gold coins, since if he knows the evolution pathway, he can collect the requirements beforehand. Wazi then tells it that he knows the system is not dumb. So why does it think a monster like him would have gold coins? It replies that where there's a will, there's a way. So he should think of ways to earn them. Well, if it turned him into a human, he might have been able to gather some coins to give it. But right now he still is just a stupid mushroom. Therefore the system tries to make an exception, and will accept materials in exchange. But Wazi stands up and does not need it, since no matter what it say, he already have an evolutionary goal in mind, and that is to become the Mushroom King. The next day, they were in the field, and was dodging the attacks that were coming to them, as they were fighting a Blade Mantis, because they obtained a new mission requiring them to defeat it. Then Wazi used his one-time use Bark Skin, and launched himself to the Mantis, as he was confident that its attacks no longer works on him. But he was mistaken, now he realize he is going to die. Therefore he called out Piggy, to tells her the game plan. Now with a plan in mind, they went on separate directions. Suddenly Piggy rushes to the Mantis, so it tried to land a strike on Piggy, but she was too fast for him, as she successfully knocked back the Mantis. While this was happening, Wazi uses his camouflage to erase his presence, since the Mantis attacks are powerful and fast, but its awareness of its surroundings is absolute trash. No wonder the dumb-looking boulder mushroom could successfully ambush it, and when he saw an opportunity he activates Mushroom Bash and killed it instantly. Thus they leveled up, making him proud as he claims to be a pro gamer, so he asks the system for another medium difficulty mission, which it did, and it requires them to go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now it seems he is about to enter the main quest line, so he asks how far it is, which the scammer system answers that it is actually not that far, since it is only about 400 kilometers away, making Wazi angrily asks if it is toying with him, which the system tries to calm him down by telling him that he actually doesn't have to walk the entire way, since it can tell him other ways to get there for a low price of 200 coins, but Wazi decides to ignore the system as he looks at the bright side and leaves it to Piggy as she proudly accepts. At a later time, 
With 20 kilometers progress, the two can be seen resting as they exhausted all their SP, and even with Piggy's help, they have only made it this far after an entire day, as he can't help but sigh in realization that 400 kilometers is too much for them, which the sadistic system reminds him that he can't cancel mission once he starts it, as it challenge him, that maybe he can find some other way to get there. Therefore Wazi knows the system wants money, so he states to give it some, but before that he asks for a freebie first, which the system firmly tells him that he won't receive any hints unless he can provide gold coins, and it knows Wazi doesn't have any money, so with no choice he lies down while cursing the smartass that decides to give him a pay-to-win system after turning him into a mushroom. Then somehow the system tells him to try to play around with his abilities, maybe he can unlock something new, as he was shocked to hear a hint from the system, and was about to do that but unexpectedly someone violently descends from the scene, as it appears two adventurers came, while this shocked Wazi to see a familiar face. As he sees his level, he couldn't believe how fast the mage's progress was. Even with a system he could only reach level 16 after so long, but the mage has already reached level 28, and there's even someone else besides him. At the same time, the bald mage loudly states that he finally found it, while they approach Wazi, Piggy didn't hesitate to block their way, but her level wasn't enough to be their opponent, so she was easily sent flying by a kick from the mage. This shocked Wazi, as he sees Piggy's unconscious state, but the mage just walks past him, while the hooded mage wonder why would there be such low-ranking species of demons so far out here. At the same time the bald one was happy as he risks his life for so long, he finally got his hands on the final requirements for his class change. A Firestorm Hawk Egg but to Wasi's perspective the mage is talking about him, making him tremble in fear, so he uses his spore explosion. This surprises the bald mage as to why a mushroom know this skill, but to the wooded mage it wasn't new as he asks his companion to leave the place, since this place is dangerous. To their surprise Piggy launches an attack, but the baldy dodges it, making Piggy hit the stone with a vine on top of it, and now it was acting weird, while Wasi came back for Piggy. At the same time the mages were amazed at a new mushroom they see, as it got limbs, but suddenly the merry go vine unwind and swings the stone around as a defense mechanism. As Wazi was about to get hit by the vine going berserk, he uses Bash to help him leap to get to the top of it, but the situation escalates as the vine was hitting its own, and causing a ripple effect. Now Wazi was concerned as it was going out of control, while the mages were doing their best to dodge all the attacks. But the other monster on the ground wasn't lucky as one of it was hit by the vine and was absorbed by it. After that the vines calmed down, but regrettably for Wazi, the two mages weren't happy of the outcome, as their faces were beaten up. Therefore they ready their attack, but the Firestorm Mother was back. While they cursed at how their 1000 gold was for nothing since the mercenaries they hired was too incompetent to even hold back the Firestorm Hawk for a little longer, while the Hawk didn't even hesitate to attack them full force. But the mages managed to block it. While the fight happens, Wazi appraised the hawk. As it turns out it was a level 47 monster, but he couldn't see the information since his level is too low. Meanwhile the mages were talking about how to deal with the situations, as they have almost depleted their mana and couldn't block another attack from it. But before they could come into conclusion, the hooded mage was swiftly killed on sight, as it startled the baldy. While the fire hawk finished eating the torso of the mage it turns to look at him menacingly, but now the baldy has a chance to drink the potion since it is far away, but still the hawk was fast enough to lessen the distance between them, therefore the baldy was desperate, so he threatens the mother hawk to break the egg, which the hawk suddenly stops its advances, but still the baldy sustained damage, but now it was confident enough as he laugh, knowing that a high ranked monsters like it really do have intelligence and emotions, and now he demands it to obey him. As the hawk hesitates, he casts Thunderbolt onto it, paralyzing it temporarily. Now the baldy has a chance to mock the hawk, as he tells it that he is turning level 50 soon, but he still haven't gone through his second class change. So everyone thinks he is a joke, and even a guild doesn't want him. Not only that, because of his age, the requirements for his class change are also more difficult than those younger people, but he can finally vent his anger today. Not only will he finally go through his class change, he will even be able to kill a high-ranking monster like it, as he laughs creepily, and kicks the mother hawk's face, while he was proudly shouting his plans after he changes class. After he vented his anger to the mother hawk, he decides to end it, so he takes out the synthetic potion, 
and coats his icicle spears with it to kill the hawk quickly as it pierced it in every directions but that still wasn't enough so he charged his attack for another attempt while still having a disgusting smile on his face but while this was happening Wazi used his camouflage to hide his presence and find the best direction to attack the mage without the mage noticing his attempt therefore without hesitation he attacks the mage canceling his attacks but the mages also let go of the egg, which Wazi catch in the nick of time. Now that the egg wasn't a hostage anymore, the mother hawk attacks the mage knocking him over a rock. Now the mage realize he fucked up, so he decide to run and use his recall scroll. But it was too late, because the mother hawk already cast fire magic infernal pillar on the spot is sitting on, and burned him to a crisp, making the mother hawk level up, so it healed its injuries and made it powerful even more. After that he went over to the mushroom, as it stares down at Wazi and anticipates something to happen, thus the egg revealed a crack, and then a chick emerged from it, and was looking around, then it hops down, and when it turns around it saw Wazi, so it went over to him, and cuddles with him. The mother hawk got teary-eyed, as it was crying with joy, seeing her child was okay, so she went over to talk to her baby, but she was kicked on the face instead, shocking them all, as it controls its anger. Wasi was already dripping with sweat while he tries to convince the chick not to do that again. But to their surprise, Piggy has two chick on her back. This made the mother chick make a face full of love. So it tries to talk to its children with a smile, but she receive an uppercut instead. After that, the chick went over to the mushroom and pig, as they thought they were their parents, and was playing as if nothing happened, while the mother hawk was all alone abandoned, while Wazi noticed the situation, so he thought of an idea. So Wazi ordered Piggy to follow him. Now they are face to face with the mother hawk, so it stared down at Wazi, looking to kill the ones that stole her child, but still to her surprise the chick defended them with their kind of menacing look. But Wazi tries to correct everything, and tells them to not do that, and conveys a message to them, as he acts what he wants to say, and that their real mother placed her life on the line to protect them. So they went over to her, and now they finally reunite, while Wazi was overjoyed at the outcome, as he loudly states that, now that they have helped out the mother hawk, she will definitely repay them. Then they can ask her to take them to the Mushroom Kingdom and complete the mission. But somehow the mother chick looks over to them with a menacing look. Now Wazi doubts that his plans worked. Then the hawks turns around and leave. So Wazi tries to pursue them while he asks how can it just leave like that, without taking them to the Mushroom Kingdom. Suddenly the mother chick stopped its tracks, and glares at them, while it says how dare a low-ranking monster like him orders him around. Now Wazi realize it understood what he said, and also can talk and the mother hawk was actually a father. Now he realized that he fucked up. Then the hawk decides to come closer to them, and asks them what qualifications does he have to demand something from him. But the poison was still in his system as he cough up blood. Weakened he collapsed, and now his consciousness is fading away. And the last thing he saw is the menacing figure of the pig and mushroom charging at him as he was about to pass out. In a much later time, he woke up, but as soon as he opens his eyes he saw the chick was burning. Still dozing off he was shocked, but he soon realized they actually do that and it is normal for them because they are a firestorm hawk, but was also annoyed seeing the pig was close to his children, so he tries to stand up but failed, as he realized that even leveling up wasn't enough to cure that synthetic poison. Then he investigates his surroundings and sees the mushroom was handling the potions, as it asks what he was doing, was he smiled, and now that he is awake, he brings a potion to the hawk and forced feed it to him. While this made the hawk angry since he doesn't even have the strength to resist a low-ranking monster anymore, but he soon realized that it wasn't a poison but an antidote, and it is a good thing they brought an antidote to the poison, but it will take a while for the antidote to work, so Wazi advises him to stay still. Then he asks why did he save him, which he replies, what will happen to the children if he dies? This made the hawk delighted to hear that, as he reconsider his actions towards the mushroom. He sits up, while Wazi clarifies that they don't have bad intentions, they just wanted to go to the Mushroom Kingdom, and was just passing by, so the Hawks state that the path there is littered with powerful monsters, and even if they somehow manage to make it, as a mushroom he will be fine, but that pig will be in trouble, he asks why is that, the Hawk was surprised that he doesn't know, so he informs him that, the King of Mushroom is actually quite famous, not just humans, but any monsters that doesn't belong to the Mushroom tribe, once they get near that area, they'll be attacked without question. With this info, 
Wazi now realized why the hawk got so angry when he asked it to take them to the Mushroom Kingdom. It turns out that was the same as asking it to send itself into danger. While he was in deep thought, the hawk looks at him closer, which startled him. While it states that Wazi is very weird, a normal mushroom monster like him should be brainless existence, but he is intelligent, and someone like him is an incredibly rare existence, and he would make the perfect tonic for his children if they eat him, which made Wazi scared as he retreats, but luckily the hawk was just messing with him, because he is not the same as those humans who would plunder everything for their own selfish desires. He doesn't really care what they do with the shell after his children have hatched, but in order to obtain the shell, the humans would steal and break the eggs before they hatch. His previous nest of kids, and the nest before that, all of them were destroyed by those despicable humans. While thinking this, made him furious, but this time around, his children were able to survive because of him. So he thanks the mushroom, which Wazi accepts his gratitude. So the hawk decide to bring them to the mushroom kingdom tomorrow, and advises him to rest up, which made Wazi cheerful. He tells him to shut up before he changes his mind, which he obliged, but before he sleeps he will just fix some things. This made the hawk curious, so he looks at what the mushroom is doing, while Wazi is mixing the potions, and is experimenting a bit, adding everything in his disposal, and after that, he uses his cheeks to absorb the potion, and after that he throws up the juices that he absorbed, the hawk can't believe what he witnessed, while Wazi proudly gives the stamina potion to him to help him recover. Now the hawk realizes where the potion he consumed earlier came from, as this made him furious. After a long day they rest, but this day was not wasted since Wazi received tons of items, and decomposed potion recipe. Hit that like button and thanks for watching.